morning guys it's well and truly daytime now and i just i've got a third part to put up and i said lord could i go to bed <laughs> he said no i put the third part up so i'm just going to go out and do the generator let the dogs out but i just want um just to put a part 2a hoping that you find the time to actually look at the testimony that I linked with the big rock. Hi guys, so just want to let you know that that's where I was. See up there? See, I haven't got a before and after now, which is a shame. But see how the digger's there? Suddenly the digger's back there, right? We saw the truck turn up this morning, like in the small hours. Well, just here on my land here, this is my little patch, that's where there was heaps of big boulders. Now, yesterday I did a covert operation when Des turned up because nothing's an accident and I'm trying to record it. This is not a copycat thing that I do because of click. It's just the way it's developed. The way... It, oh, my God, nice. Look at that. Well, it has been raining, but look at that. Oh, my Lord. Okay, shoot. Okay, isn't it gorgeous? So, anyway... um. Yeah, I'm not a copycat clique here. I don't have a circle of friends. So it's really nice that I can just throw it on that messenger. And I know that there's a witness. Look, at, these three people are busy in America. They're just about disaster's going to hit their shore. But they're allowing me to leave my documentation, documentation with them, which basically gives me three witnesses. And that's just, that's just the way the Lord's done it. But... The thing is that the Lord said to me when I was on the other side of that hill there is the glory hut, remember? I was in that little hut, off grid, even worse than what I got here. I had no generator. And I was seeking the Lord desperately because I'd been hunted and didn't understand what, what was going on. I don't know if you've been through that, but he came through. See, it works for good. That's what how stupid they are. <laughs> they don't realise they're pushing us into God's corner. And he came through, but the night he came through, I was sitting there and I had a seat next to me, which I put my box on. And I saw an angel. No, it was. He was just wearing tan trousers. I only saw his trousers. But I knew there was a presence there. And I'm not an angel person. That's before I had the dream where I was in that same glory hut. And they were coming into the sliding door, these teenagers with high-pitched voices. <laughs> and I just said, angel, and it went white. I, every time I say this, I think, oh, I sound like a blimmin' new ager. They have done such a good do job of ripping us off. This is our sign. Okay, the unicorn's not our sign, but this is our sign. Now, <clears throat> then... The anointing finally fell on me, and I heard him clearly. He said, tomorrow I'm going to give you a detailed plan, a blueprint, and you're going to write it down. I didn't even know I had a scribe Bible then. That's what I had, a Bible with scribe written on it, and he told me I was a scribe later. People, someone's commented and said, oh, oh, yeah, they called me a scribe, you know, like a Pharisee, like a serpent. <laughs> It's just got a sense of humour. That is beautiful, the way it's coming out of that cloud, eh? Um, you know, I started writing it, not, and, and you see, that's that's how I documented. And then when I went back to Christchurch to resolve things with my husband, that's when he told me I was ignorant when I walked past the television. And from there on, that's when I started an internet gold search, which is sort of the way things are going and have been going for the last year and a half. Seldom, but it happens, do I just hear the Lord inscribe it. I speak the Lord and say what I would have scribed. On, on these YouTube videos, This last, the last two, I've just talked led by the Holy Spirit, because like Cleck, um, for some reason we've just got to get this message out and document it. Do you understand? So...
so anyway there's the rainbow i'm sorry i have to turn away oh there goes the end of it that's just a normal rainbow okay it's different from what i put up but isn't it gorgeous that he's put the rainbow up there right now right it's a sign again now so i did a covert video here yesterday because des who's the owner of the land turned up he's a policeman I told him not to get the V and gave him a hug. And he went, K Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The answer's not ours to see. K Sarah, Sarah. He didn't sing it, but it was like a musical. Because I've had that word before. It's bullshit. Did you hear that? <laughs> now, because the answer is ours to see and here we go above there is what he said he came and he showed me these rocks he said the digger driver because he's running out of boulders now it's all symbolic i was up there showing you all the big boulders up there when i first arrived which was about two and a half years ago just over two years i've been here two winters that's when I gave the testimony of the Paradise Island. I was facing this, I was facing this way and showing you that the, and you could see the caravan was facing the other way and I didn't have any buildings. So that's the big rock which I linked part one. No, part two. Okay? Hopefully watch that. Then you'll know why I'm putting up a little video after this. Yesterday talking to Des. Um, you'll notice in my personality, the gold miner was right. He said to me when he cracked, he said, Lisa, give you an inch, you take a mile. Well, yeah, that's my personality. It's probably a negative, but it sort of paid off because I do that with God. If he gives me a little bit, I want more. And that's a good thing. So turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. You'll see my personality. <laughs> In the little video because I'm asking them to fill in that puddle I always want more but like if they're gonna come and spend a whole day here and I have to tie my dogs up they owe me it's an inconvenience okay bad attitude but that's the pile they made he spent all day yesterday picking up all the rocks he's left one hey guys Guess what I'm going to do? I'm in my slippers. He's left one. It's nice, eh? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk and talk. Right. Just as I, I want to share this one dream, right? The rainbow's looking great, isn't it? So stick with me. I'm just walking this way. I'm going to turn my generator off. And then I'm going to show you something. So on the thumbnail... Sorry, it's noisy. Oh, I'll just show you this first. I, I'm not in focus. There we go. On the thumb now, I'm going to put another picture up. Now, you think I'm silly talking about things that are happening around me with the gold miners. Well, they're all a sign. See that rock? See how red it is? I put it there. Do you know why? Well, halfway through last year, about this time last year, when the caravan was facing the other way, towards the rainbow, the dogs are going to walk with me. This could be dangerous because the truck should come, could come, but I'll just have to cope. Lord, don't let the truck come. Remember that red rock, right? So I was looking out the window, and I realised they were... Okay, see that pile there that's just a ridge? Right, well, that was really piled high, so that I couldn't see my mountain, Teratama. And Lord had just spoken to me about that mountain. 
and then they blocked it. But it worked for good because there was this big white rock in it. <whistles> Come on. Come for a walk. Don't go under the vehicles. I'm missing one. Oh, it's fire. She's with the babies. So it's, it's raining a little bit. See the size of those blimmin' rocks? They're the ones that I lifted up. Now, I noticed there was a big white rock. It was like a triangle, right, this mound? But there was a big white rock in the middle of it, and there was fines above it. So it was right in the centre. Like one of those dishwasher things. You know when you, you get one of those dishwasher squares and it's got a ball in the middle? But it was a triangle, right? Well, he said, I said, when are you going to... The rainbow's going the other way now. It's, it's over there. Or is it the same rainbow from a different... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see? My kids ever see this. I'm wet now. It's raining. I'm in my jammies. My kids ever see this. They're going to laugh their heads off. They'll be angry because I mentioned them, though. Right. I went for a walk a few days ago. That's the rock. So what they did is they scraped it down. He said he would move it by Christmas, which was last Christmas, but he didn't. But he finally moved it because they've left. They had to. But that rock has not been taken. Now it's sitting there, right? Well, I noticed it when I first ever walk around here. It's peeing down. See, this is the work you did yesterday, which is where I took that video, right there. See? They're taking those rocks, the last ones. I don't, they're actually thinking of splitting those ones to take them that are too big. But that's the rock. Well, I walked over this road, because it's sort of like a new road with the dogs for the first time. And I noticed that rock, and guess what was on it? That red rock that's now at my doorstep. And as soon as I saw it, I don't know if I'm being churchy here, but I thought, why did they put a red rock on my white rock? Because you know that white rock? Mark can testify to this. I noticed the white rock. Then I got up one morning. The way the sun was in the morning, it looked like, because I thought it looked, I think I thought it looked like a tomb stone, because it was perfect round circle. But I got up and the sun was behind it and it, had, it was an illusion that there was a hole in the rock and the, and the stone had been rolled away. Right, I can hear the truck now. Hopefully we get the dogs inside. I need to get in, it's wet. The stone had been rolled away. And we, come here. We went on a series of pictures between us of rocks that have holes. There's some in California that have holes in them. They're like portals. They're like the arches. Come here, guys. Inside, quick, it's raining. Quick, it's raining. Here's the blue truck, see? I got back. Come on. No one's under the truck. Not even me. You know, that reminds me of Pet Cemetery. That is a freaky movie, that one. Um, yeah. And then that led me to, come on inside, quick, it's raining, quick, inside. Inside, look yellow, inside. No, don't go hunting. Quick, inside. <whistles> Sorry, fire. You've been waiting. Good boy good girl come on yellow right yellow can make his way in excuse me i just keep falling over here now where was i yeah so that leads me to a heap of testimonies about that hole in the rock um do i do that lord instead I'm only 14 minutes, I might be able to fit them all in. Okay, quickly, the hole in the rock. Okay, so I told you I got shifted from Christchurch to Port Chalmers, Dunedin, with the octagon, right? 
and the canary. I have to tell you about the canary where that pet shop was. That's what I want to finish with. Well, Port Chalmers is like my Tūranga Waiwai. It's where everyone knows who I am. But my mother was brought up there and her mother's mother. and It's Tūranga Waiwai is where you stand, right? Apparently I'm supposed to. If I was a Māori, that would be my home. I'd have to say that was my home. But because I'm not a Māori when I did that Māori course, I, I wasn't allowed to say my home was New Zealand. I had to say it was the East End before the waka came here, right? But the Māoris came here on a waka. Why don't they, why isn't that their home, where they come from? Egypt, maybe? <laughs> they don't want anyone to know that one. But, um, that's Port Chalmers. Now, there's a beach there called Amoana. I went there last Christmas. I took Gary. I went to my home. I went right round to my different homes. We we stayed in outside of Dunedin and we had a look at the beaches there. So I've had two I've had a dream at, um about Aramoana. There has been a mass murder there. It's called Out of the Blue. But I don't want to go there. You can look it up. It's connected to my testimony as well. But there is a rock there with a hole in it. So I found that picture and I sent it to Mark when I saw this tomb with the hole. He showed me these pictures in California with holes somewhere close. Well, on that beach, there's a back beach. So in that movie, Out of the Blue, which is a real murder, mass murder, a man went nuts with his neighbour, killed lots of people, 20-something children as well. He was sort of running around with his rifle in the tussock. Now, there's a beach that has waves where the rock is, the hole. And then on the back of that beach, it's like an estuary. Well, I had that dream before my husband cast me out where I was lying on that beach asleep like a, a mossy it's very very mossy you know those estuaries and he was in front of me and I woke up saw him on the beach and I saw a big lion over him ready to he had his the lion had his head in his mouth and I woke him up never do this never never do I have nightmares it was from God and I said I'm afraid for you uh, th there's a lion that's going to devour you and then everything played out well, the other thing at that beach was the Lord gave me two, uh, three crushes at the same time as he gave me two romantic movies. The two romantic movies were, the first one is a warning, it's a down one, it's called Message in a Bottle. The summary of that is, what the Lord wants to say, is the man had an opportunity for love, a new bride, but his other bride had died. And her name was Catherine, and they called her Saint Catherine. Look at, look up Saint Catherine. It's like necromancy. It's the dead that they have under the altars in the Catholic Church. They have one of Saint Catherine. She's the patron saint. She's a nun of young girls. But the story behind it is that she was almost like one of the first nuns she was the bride of Christ because she had this vision of Jesus giving her a bride uh, a ring she was engaged to Jesus I think she um, was hung or her head chopped off in the end right so that's Saint Catherine well because in message in the bottle because he was pining over her He dedicated his boat with his wine bottle, because he was saving, to her, even though he was practically in, um, engaged to this new woman, and this woman witnessed him doing it and realised 
that he wasn't over her and he, she totally backed away. That's the story of the church. So you're not over the world. You're going to marry the wrong bride, but we've got to flip it because it's the wrong groom. It's a false church. So the bride, let's just say the bride, the bride backed away from this man, this groom. She didn't, she knew he wasn't over it. So that's really what the Holy Spirit will do. Your heart will grow cold and he will hand you over to the delusion that's probably already happened. It's your warning. It was an old warning, wasn't it? He gave me two romantic movies. That one didn't have a happy ending, did it? The Holy Spirit drew away from you. He warned. Or you can go to the other movie, Sleepless in Seattle. We're at the end. She meets her fiancé. She breaks off of him. And she's opposite the Empire State Building. And it's from an old movie. And it's almost like that movie is repeating an old black and white movie. Because there's a couple that have never met and they meet for the first time in the Empire State Building. So she's sitting there broken off with this man. She's had just conversations with this man in Seattle. through, And also the son, who's called Jonah, is getting involved you can go watch the movie. It's two romantic movies from God. But this one's, I hope, for you in America. Because there's devastation is coming. Babylon falls. I know. It's before the fire. But we're at the finish line. So you need to... Well, I don't have this... This, this rapture event that's at the end of this movie is, is not for me. What well, could be for me, but it's for you urgently. So she looks across at the Empire State Building and then she thinks, because she gets a ring back, right? She gives the ring back to him. So she walks away from that church, that groom, the false groom, the false family. Like my dream, where I'm outside this house, it's my house, I'm looking for a peephole. It's supposed to be my groom's house, our, our wedding home. There's all these strangers in it that are supposed to be my family and they despise me. So I leave and I go up the hill and I get in a bus. You understand this? This is why I'm showing it, because I get in a bus. That's my communist invasion dream. Then I see the roadblocks. Then I see the missiles coming down. Then I see the ships, the battleships coming in. And I see an army truck unload dead bodies, but they're all cut up and they go in a pre-dug pit. Like the Holocaust. Probably not allowed to say that. You know, just thrown in. And there's a little girl with me who's just given me a drawing, remember? The bear going, moving upside down and the three reindeers. All about Christmas again. This is a false church. She breaks up with this groom. Then she thinks, oh, maybe I will go over to the Empire State Building. But as she's looking out the window, there's a view. And it's a real view of what's happening. It's not CGI. The last part of it is CGI. I admit that. But there's the Twin Towers, the Eiffel Tower, and there's a love heart on it because it's Valentine's Day. And through the movie you will see New York and the prickly apple for New Year's Day coming down. So the movie goes through Christmas and New Year and then it ends at Valentine's Day. So she goes there, she goes up. And who's there? The little boy and the father. And they meet for the first time. They go down the elevator, holding hands. I've only just met. They're obviously, that's it. They're together. It's like meeting Jesus for the first time. <laughs> and like I said, it pans out. Of, pans out. The lights from New York turn into stars and they go up. That's what I know. That's how come I know about the rapture. That's why I believe the Bible studies that Tim 405 put up, part of it. Not because I'm a Bible scholar, because I'm arrogant enough to think that I can interpret the scriptures, because I had a dream and a quickening. And um, he does mention Ephraim being America. And I'm okay with that. I'm Joseph. 
There's Ephraim and Manasseh. There's still time for others, but Ephraim. Great tribe that, eh? I love you people in America. If you, I feel like a lot of people in America watch for some reason. I don't know why. Or will watch. So I got to there all because of the rock. Now the reason why I took that red rock when I went for that walk a few days ago, two days ago, is because I felt like it was a spell. Like I don't want to be a churchy fight here, but I just felt like, why pick up a red rock and put it on that white rock where the Lord's turned that up and it's the tomb that rolled away, the stone that rolled away, right? So I went back in my car and I got that rock and I put that rock there at my door and I played, prayed the blood over my new door, 52 number, willful ignorance. The first time I prayed over that new door, I prayed over that caravan door, the blood, like the Passover, all right? So it is something I recommend you do, but do it in the spirit when you're led. It's a, it's a blessing. It's like cracking a bottle over a boat, but just make sure you dedicate it to the right God. It's not witchcraft. And like God says, Jesus says they come knocking at the door and say, we did this and that in your name. We cast out this devil and that devil. Yeah, they did. You may have done that, but he doesn't know you. So it's not your signs and wonders and all your churchified things you do. Even though that's a churchy thing, God's already turned that one up, hasn't he? Jesus turned it up. So that's a rock that I wanted to show you. And it's significant that this little video I'm going to put up next. It's significant that those boulders were taken that are up there. And they even scrounged the ones that were close to my driveway. Yeah. They're running out of boulders. They're running out of time. Time's up. Mariah Carey they're running up out of time like Tex said time's up Alex just for the impact I think I'll just leave it here and I'll share about the canary and we'll make it a part four